Yo, what's up guys, Matt Wick here. We are back in HL24 testing the draft, and we are in the playoffs with our draft team. It is going to be a hell of a series this first round here against Washington. We took a quick peek at their lines uh, last episode, and we're going to do one more just so we get a nice little refresher, remember who we're going up against. Um, now, one thing I do want to say, too, is that we are the lower seed, but I do feel like that is heavily influenced by us playing a 50-some uh, and 60-some overall player uh, for uh, probably, what, 60% of the season. So we'll see what ends up happening. They have a very... Uh, in my opinion, weak offense. Uh, we'll see what they can get done there. They might be uh, just like, they have good stats. You never know. They might just uh, surprise us. But their defense is definitely where they pop off a bit. They're very much like us with our Malkin and Brian Patrick pairing. And I'm going to show one thing about Brian Patrick that I saw that was pretty interesting. And then in the goaltending, you can see there, is uh, pretty much what the league average is right now. But Brian Patrick, this is something I realized when I was looking through the uh, rosters uh, after last episode. Um, so just to, in case you, uh, this is your first episode or uh, you just uh, forgot what we got looking like, uh, this is what our team looks like right now. Like I said, we did have the two uh, North Koreans on the squad, the Friggin' Brothers, but they are going to start the uh, bench, uh, the, start the series on the bench uh, for this one right now. But Brian Patrick, so when we drafted him, he was a medium franchise potential all the way back in 2024, 32 years of age, still 90 overall, which is good. He's dropped to a top 4D potential. So that is a little bit scary because we are paying him a ton of money uh, for the next four years. Uh, this is though a guy, he's on like a Sidney Crosby level with this team. He is never going to go anywhere. He is our first captain of the franchise and to get him uh, in that first year was pretty uh, unreal. He's had some good stats too. He's had a good career uh, with the uh, with the team. So I, I have nothing really to complain about. Plenty of uh, plenty of points he's put up. He's been a pretty consistent player his whole career. Um, especially once we got Malkin, another offensive defenseman to play with him uh, on the team. And uh, I mean, Stanley Cup success. What we've got four or five cups now, absolutely unreal. Uh, so without further ado, boys, let's get into this series. And if you are enjoying the videos, make sure to leave a like and comment down below your thoughts. And if you're not subscribed, do so because uh, making a lot of gaming content, especially once NHL 25 starts rolling around. So I appreciate all the support, boys. But the more support I would appreciate would be as if our fucking team could beat the shit out of the Washington Capitals and we could be dancing on those capital steps like the Penguins fans do. Like I said, this is our first time playing Washington in this entire series, 2039. <laughs> first time playing them in the playoffs, I believe. Uh, so let's go, boys. First period. Let's show them what we're made of. We're a dynasty. We had a slip up last year losing in the first round. Not this year, baby. We're coming back. We're coming for blood. Let's go. First period, boys. What do you got? All right. Um, uh, you know, it's always a little awkward when you make those big speeches and then you go out and lay a goose egg on the board. But hey, 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 we're, we're saving it up for the second period. Shots are close. We're playing a good game. Let's go, boys. Second period. There we go. That's more like it. Brock Ladd shorthanded. Brand Patrick gets one as well from the point. Nice little ripper. But let's go. Let's start the third period. We don't need to do any more talking. We're out shooting them heavily now. We have got our game and we have got our stride and our step. Let's go, boys. Come on. Fuck them up. <laughs> getting a little, getting a little antsy up here in the play, in the press box, and that's that. That's why uh, I say press box. I should say from one of the suites. I mean, I'm the owner of this team. I ain't sitting in the press box with those fucking nerds. Um, <laughs> God damn it! Oh man. All right, I guess that's what I deserve uh, <laughs> for my little outburst there. Uh, so we fall there three to two to the Washington Capitals. Capitals. Uh, no offense. No offense. Um, but let's do one thing I want to do here. So let me take a quick look at how the uh, boys performed in that first uh, first game. How's that first line look? Minus one, minus two for Fred Goligoski. We do not love that. Tommy Nakamura didn't do anything bad. Brusty. See, one thing, I mean, I've been waiting to think about doing this. I think I'm going to do it now. I think I'm going to put Brust up on that top line, even though it kills the, uh, the, the line chemistry that we had before. I think it just has to happen. Squeen, you know, he's 29 years of age now. He's dropped significantly in overall these last couple of years. I think he was up to like an 88 at one point, now down to an 84. He does have the abilities, but I mean, he's he just hasn't been getting it getting it done to the standard that I would like him to get it done. So we're going to have him slot in there on the second line with Brock Ladd and Nakamura, and then we will see kind of what comes of that. Minus two. Oh, the fourth line struggling a little bit there. Uh, Hickey, mm, maybe that's not the right place to play a sniper. What if we put, what if we put Ald back in there, give us a little bit more toughness in that line, then we really kill our chemistry throughout the whole team. <laughs> so let's do one last thing. I'm going to put Malkin back up on that top unit, have a nice defensive shutdown pair there. 
And uh, yeah, we'll see. This has worked for us in the playoffs before, so let's see if it works now. It was one thing I was thinking about making a change, and after that first game, I know it wasn't a blowout, but I, I mean, we should be beating this team pretty convincingly. And like I said, this has worked for us in the past, so let's try it again here. If we do, though, and I don't want to, I don't want to start uh, start setting anything into the universe here, but if we do lose this series, I'm gonna have to seriously consider doing like a full tear down rebuild of this team and seeing if we can maybe do like a quick speed rebuild trade off some players maybe get younger a little bit in certain spots maybe a guy like Malkin maybe a guy like Squeen Brock Lads uh, are shown the door um, we'll see we'll see but we just right now we just don't have enough scoring on this team and it, it came up in the regular season and it's coming up now uh, in the playoffs so let's go boys prove me wrong you can do so right here first period Okay, 1-1. One, one. Goligoski finally gets on the board with his new line mate, Brust, Mr. Bust. Uh, they get a power play goal, which I don't love, uh, but let's go, boys. We're out shooting them heavily. Their goalie's standing on his head, apparently. Like I said, uh, I showed in the last video his stats. He did have insane vision and rebound control, so that might be playing a big factor into it. But let's see, boys. Second period. Can we finally pierce the wall? No, we cannot. Going into the third period here, tied 38, 40 shots to 14, and it's tied 1-1. One one. Oh, come on, boys. I mean, we can't really be doing any more than that. I mean, we just need to find the back of the net at this point. Like, what are we doing? 43 shots to 17. Are we going to get 50 shots before they get 20? We've been on a little bit of a cold streak at the end of this uh, period. They've been they've been riddling us, but no, we are not able to get the 50. They got 22 still out shooting them by more than double. So let's go, boys. Come on. We need to find a quick one here in the in the overtime period. Power play. They gifted it to us. Thank you very much. We'll take it. Squeen says, you take me off the top line. This is what I think of that. Boom. OT winner on the power play. Let's go. And we even the series back up one to one against the Washington Capitals, bringing it back to Pittsburgh. Without further ado, we're not going to be messing around with no more lines. We're getting straight into this one, boys. First period, the fans are buzzing. They want another Stanley Cup in the building. What do you got for me? Okay, two two, little bit of scoring. So we uh, two of their bigger guys, uh, Wall and Kovalev, uh, get a couple goals there. But we are able to uh, bring it back even at the end of the period there with Wesley and Whitman. So let's see. Can we uh, step it up here in the second period? Out, getting outshot, too, which is surprising after we, how much we outshot them in that second game. So I don't know what uh, adjustments they made, but let's see if they work here in the second. Ooh, okay, we got a bit of a scoring rush this game. Brock Ladd with two, Kostitsin gets one. They get two of their own, so it's a quite an interesting game so far. So we've solved the goaltender. Um, the only thing is that our uh, defense and our goaltender a little bit leaky right now. Five to five, hell of a game though. I would love to be watching this one on TV. I'd <laughs> be sitting on the edge of the seat. So ten minutes left. It's a zero-zero game practically, all tied up. Let's see who's got more heart, who's got more soul, who's got more determination. Are we headed to overtime? No. Oh, come on, that's twice now that they've done this to me. Oh, Oshi, of course it's an Oshi. Oh my god, haunting Pittsburgh, man. <laughs> so that's twice now that they've been able to steal a game from us in the waning minutes of the third. Oh, come on, boys. Uh, let's see. All right, well, we got a chance here. Um, what can we get done? Can we, we, we need this game. We can't lose two at home. We can't, go, we can't lose two at home specifically, and we can't go down three to one. So that's that's the biggest thing there, boys. Come on, we need we need to get right game right now. One nothing. Jesus fucking Christ, boys! Can we put the puck in the back of the net? The goalie's an 82 overall. It's not like he's fucking prime Dominic Hashik out there stuffing you up, but maybe he is. I don't know. Let's see. Second period. Oh my God! One nothing. He's pitching a shutout. This is insane. I can't believe we're getting stuffed by this goalie. And a fourth line guy gets a goal for him. Come on, don't no, stop the bleeding. There you go. Power play. Get one back. Can't. Power play again. Get one back. Come on, boys. We needed one before the 10-minute mark. That would have been huge. Somebody, please step it up. Oh, God. Come on. Don't do this to me. 3 nothing. Oh, uh, Okay, 3-1. Dackel gets one for us. Our defensive pairing there gets one back. But it looks like it's not going to be enough as we fall in the series to the score of the game 3-1 against the Washington Capitals boys I think we are the uh, we're the current Pittsburgh Penguins we're the Nashville Predators of a couple years ago we're the Kings we're the Blackhawks where we had our huge run where we were just unbeatable we won multiple cups we won three in a row at one point so yeah I think we have five um and now we're at that back end of it where the salary cap is just 
sticking it up our hoop sandpaper finish no lube i tell you what boys um but let's do just the last thing that we can try to do let's just let the coach because this might be his last uh years with the team as well we might start moving on from our head coach after this let's give him a shot head coach preferred lines we'll let him do whatever he wants to do we won't complain about it um so this is the lineup that he's going with goalies i'm assuming yep swats swatsky in there still uh so let's go boys i mean this is this is it we, we, this is it. This could be the last time you see this team together because I will rip this team to shreds uh, at the draft and after free at the start of free agency, depending on who is available. Um, so let's go, boys. We need something here. We're almost to the end of uh, the the simulation that we're allowed. I think it's 25 years, if I'm not correct. People leave it in the comments. Uh, how many years we got left, maybe? Um, but let's go, boys. First period. This could be the last year. You never know. <laughs> First period. Okay, 2-2. Two, two. So we uh, start off with a good goal from our third pairing on defense. Harima there. Uh, Brand Patrick, old school and new school come together to get us the uh, two goals. But it's not enough to take the lead. Second period. Guys, why in elimination games do all of my teams just seemingly just get ass blasted <laughs> oh come on when i did those two I, I think we won two or three cups and it was just me like oh no one cares about the season so i'm just gonna skip these and we we, we per perform amazingly storm through the playoffs win cups unreal and then we get on camera and it shrivels up and we just can't perform boys what what's going on here third period can we make some magic happen anything nothing boys no heart no soul no passion that this is going to be it. You're not even going to get... We give up another fucking goal. Six to two in an elimination game. Unreal. After we lose both games at home, we get absolutely shit on out of the playoffs. You know, I should have played North Koreans because at least it would have made for a little bit of a storyline if we were just going to get... Fucked! <laughs> oh, come on, man. All right, well, I guess this one's going to be a short video and we'll be able to get to the draft a little bit quicker. But, man, what a disappointment that was. 4-1. I mean, we'll take a quick look at the points. Uh, just to see kind of what, uh, if anybody made uh, made an effort at all for us. Uh, so Brian Patrick, I mean, our captain, he did everything he could. But, uh, I mean, Goligoski, dude, you want you want yourself a big contract. You know, this is the last year of your deal. And that's the performance you put up in the playoffs. One goal in five games and a minus three. Unreal, boys. Just absolutely unreal. So big changes need to be made. Um I've got the will to do them. Uh, like I said, Brian Patrick, he's untouchable. But pretty much everybody else on the team right now, you know, I've had my fill of them and I'm sick of them. So we're going to make some big changes at the draft. So that should be an interesting episode. And then free agency, I'll make some changes. So I'll see you guys at the draft. We'll see what we want to get into a little bit. But this is going to be the end of this one. Disappointing finish, boys. Just like my Marshall uh, Thundering Herd out in the first round. Uh, so there's a trend going on on the channel, apparently. But I appreciate you watching, guys. Make sure to leave a like, comment your thoughts on the team. What changes maybe you would make? Would you go full rebuild mode? So three cups three years in a row and now two first round exits in a row is it over is the dynasty over do we give it one more year let me know in the comments uh, and make sure to subscribe to the channel if you aren't already but i appreciate the support have a great day boys Peace.